Hi all, in this video, we are going to learn about randomizations in C++. So the first thing is when to use. Okay, if, if there is a program or there is a cases where it requires randomized value or randomized situations, then we will call for this syntax, R, A, N, D, and the parentheses, randomizations. And when you want to use this, you have to remember that you must include a header file called C standard library. And um, after you use it, there will be one issue where this issue is related to repeated same randomized value. Meaning that even though the computer will randomize value for you, but, but every time when it randomizes, the value is fixed. So in order to solve that, we have something called seed randomizations, which is ace rain, which is ace rain, and we can call it and set a seed where the random can start. Same thing, if you want to call for this, you have to use C standard libraries. But um, there is also one problem if you look for a very robust randomized value. Because if you use a seed value, it will randomize based on that particular seed value. Thus, in order to solve this, we are going to apply time, current time, where we will put time and the parentheses zero into the S random. So, which is means that every time the seed random will be based on the current time and end up it will not generate or will not using the same seed for randomizations. I hope this uh, is clear. So let's go for the coding part. In order to use rand randomizations, don't forget to include the header file, which is C standard library. That is the this is the must. Okay. And then we can try with C out a random value first. Without using any seed, we just try to random value. So when you compile and run, it gives me 41. It gives me 41. And if I compile and run again, it still gives me 41. So we can generate more um, random value to compare. Let's say I want to generate this random value. Uh, 10, 10 random values. Okay, so after each randomization, I will leave a space so it is clear. All right, so now this code will randomize 41, 184, 67, and so on. And every time when I repeat to run the program, basically it will give me same result, same result. So this happened because the randomizations it depends on my computer. It depends on my computer. So in order to solve this, we will call for S random, which is seed random. And um, we can try for the number, let's say 10. Let's say 10 and we compile and run again. You found that this round, it is not started with 41, it started with 71. But if I run again, it still gives me 71 because the state value is same, which is 10 in this case. If I put 6, it will give me something different. This is 58. But if I run again without changing the seat value, it will still give me the particular um, range of randomization value. So in order to solve this, we apply for current time, which is time. So now we compile and run. The first round, it gave me 1646, 2141. Second time around, it, okay, 1666, 30788. Run again, 1698, 20520. So this is how we apply randomizations. I hope it is clear and you have enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.